In this video, we're going to talk about the difference between observational and experimental studies. Okay, so say I'm interested in the question, uh, does exercising regularly improve academic performance? Okay, so I've noticed that athletes seem to do really well in class, so I'm really interested in knowing, um, you know, is it the exercise that's causing them to do really well in class? Okay, so the first way I could do it um, is I could get all my students and ask them how often do they exercise, ask them, uh, we, or, or actually I'll know, maybe because I'm the teacher, uh, what their grades are, and I can just uh, you know, sit back and observe um, you know, what the results are. Okay, so I'm going to ask them their grades, or I know my, I know their grades, and I'm going to figure out how much they exercise, um, and I will try to make a conclusion based off of that. Now, if I do that, that um, that's me just watching them, and I, you know, I haven't manipulated, um, you know, I haven't told them to exercise, I haven't done anything. Uh, I just, I'm, I'm just observing what they already do, what grades they've already gotten, what what exercise they already have done, you know, or regularly do. Um, so this is just me observing, this is an observational type of study. Okay, the problem with this type of study in, in this scenario uh, would be that, you know, if I were to notice that my students with high grades also exercised a lot, that would just be a, co um, a correlation, right? Um, that would not be a causal relationship. I, I couldn't really infer that exercise caused the high grades. Uh, there might be another factor, like maybe being on a sports team requires you to have a certain GPA, or maybe being on a sports team, give, they give you tutors, and maybe that's what's causing your higher grades, right? I, I don't, you know, I, 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 this is just me observing. Uh, this is just a correlation that I'm gonna observe. This is not gonna tell me anything about a causal relationship between exercise and grades okay so now the second scenario is um, if I were to do an experimental study so in an experimental study um, the f um, I one way that I could run an experiment there's lots of ways you can run an experimental study to answer this question um, but one way that I could do it is I could uh, you know randomize my uh, students in the beginning of the semester um, to exercise and not to exercise, right? So uh, I'll tell some to uh, exercise and others to not exercise. Um, so I would have some students who are exercising all semester and I'll have others that are not exercising, right? And then at the end of the day, I'll be able to observe what their grades are at the end of the semester, right? I'll observe their grades um, at the end, all right? So, um, and in this, in this scenario, well, well it, it may not be realistic, actually, because I don't know if you can really tell students to exercise and not exercise, especially the not exercise part, because, uh, you know, that's that's kind of not good for your health. Um, and then if you were to tell them to exercise, there may be some who are non-compliant. But let's just assume that they really did. These students exercise every day and these ones did not. Let's just assume that it worked out and the students uh, were compliant and willing to participate. Okay, um, then, you know, so this, this is an experimental study, right? This is an experimental study uh, because I have manipulated uh, the student's behavior, right? I have, um, I have created an environment for them. Uh, I am not just observing these students. I have told them to do something different than they would have done if I was just observing them. So this is an experimental study. All right. Uh, in this experimental study setup, if I were to do it this way and if it were to really work out, um, I could, at this point, make causal statements, which is super cool. I, you know, because because I've told, um, I, first off, because I've randomized, right? So everyone is equally likely to show up in the exercise group and the not exercise group. 
Um, and so, you know, some of these guys might have tutors and some of those guys might have tutors and because it was randomized, it's all even across the board. Um, and then I can, I, I, I can make um, causal relationships that I find. So if I find that the exercise group, um, you know, ends up having better grades at the end of the semester on average than those that did not exercise, then, then you can make a causal statement, which is super cool. And, and you can say that exercise caused the higher grades.